Um, I am in a total different space because my living room is a, a disaster. And yeah, so I'm not going to risk it. Um, our cleaning lady hasn't come for two weeks. Yeah, so um, after she was told to come back, she never did. Um, so we had to get on them. Uh, yeah, so today I just want to go over some confusions I've been having. I know my best friend Rob's been having some confusions. And my best friend Jamie right now, well, friends right now. Um, till he sees this video, then he's gonna be like, okay, so, I'm gonna, st just, just, just a disclaimer, I am not judging any countries or states, um, we both have our own equal way, um, yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the USA, I don't know okay um what they call their class in the usa when people went to school um i know it's called sex ed here for relationships um yeah so s let's say relationship class for usa um relationship class you were taught that you like someone you become best friends or f or friends um and then go into a relationship then get engaged then get married okay that's the usa relationship code but here's the thing was Canada taught the same way? Here's Canada. Sorry, the papers are really ripped. Um, was Canada taught the same way? No, Canada was not taught the same way. Um, because USA is a lot stricter than Canada. We are country free. Um, here in our schools in college and whatever right um or wherever you're taking relationship classes or aka sex ed okay so canada we were taught that either you loved the person or you didn't um the only way to get to know them was to ask them out <laughs> on a date um yeah we were always asked this question in sex ed always every time we went into sex ed we were asked this question how do you get to know a woman or a guy that you love and we would always say ask them out and the teacher would say that's correct um so this is versus this like the teacher says Oh, you got to get to know them, become friends, and then go into a relationship versus Canada saying you got to ask them out on a date. Um, yeah, so that's confusing. Um, we were told that either we love the person or we don't. Um, we were told if the person didn't have any interest in dating or anything to move on. As for U.S., that's different. Now, the person I like in the U.S., um, he is doing things his way versus what I was taught when I went to sex ed relationship class um yeah so i don't know what's going on there but <laughs> we are from two different parts 
parts of the world. <laughs> this is a state and this is a country. So, yeah, so you were taught here to become friends, relationship, engage in marriage. Here, you were taught that either you love the person or you don't. Um, if they weren't interested in dating, you moved along. Um, yeah, so it was, it's, Canada is a very pushy country when it comes to relationships. As for USA, they like to take things slow, and I understand that, but it was just a confusion. Um, I tried to clear it up with them too, and it just wasn't working, so I thought I'd just make a video, um... So then that way I could get it out there to some of my other USA friends that were confused by me too. So in Canada, either he's your boyfriend or he's not. USA, um, let's just be buddies and see how it goes. <laughs> and yeah, so that includes, I'm hoping that includes everybody's confusion, including mine. Um, yeah, we were both taught differently. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.